Welcome to this How To Free Agent tutorial. Today I'm going to cover how to explain a bank expense in Free Agent. So this is our dummy account of Sarah's Marketing Magic and we're going to go through how to allocate uh, an expense that you paid for by a company debit card in Free Agent. If you haven't already looked at the uh, overview video about expenses, we suggest you probably re look at that one first because it will just explain to you the basics before we get into this, which is quite detailed. So Sarah has gone to Staples and she has purchased something with her company debit card and now she needs to explain it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into banking and bank accounts and we're going to go into the current account because this is the account that the card's on. If it had been on a credit card, we could go to the credit card account. Um, or obviously if it had been on one of the other business accounts. So uh, we know that this happened in November. So we're going to have a look at all the transactions in November. Again, we're looking at all transactions, not just the unexplained ones, so make sure we can find it. Um, here it is on the 2nd of November. She uh, was charged £100 by Staples. So that's the transaction that we want to describe. So what we're going to do is just click on it. Uh, the type, uh, there's lots of different ones, but the type is a payment, so we're just going to keep it on payment. The receipt has VAT shown clearly on it, so we're going to set the VAT around to 20%. If you're not VAT, VAT registered, you don't need to worry about any of the VAT settings, just ignore them. Uh, if the receipt uh, doesn't say any VAT number or that they, you've been charged VAT, then they're not VAT registered and you can't claim the VAT. The type or category, we're going to have a look and we're going to find that there's one up here called stationery. Uh, so I'm going to select stationery and then we're just going to change the description. It's always good to change the bank descriptions because they are very confusing and not very helpful. So we're going to still say that, that she bought something from Staples, but that she actually bought some A4 pads times 20. <laughs> I've made that up. That's quite expensive. <laughs> um, then she, if she scanned a receipt onto the computer, uh, we can upload a file and we can go and find um, the receipt. This is one of our receipts. It's not the same receipt, but in this, in this instance, I'm just showing you so that we can attach it. And you can see that there's an attachment. You can add a description, but there's really no reason to because it's quite obvious what it is from where it's been attached. Um, and then we just say explain the transaction and you can now see it's gone green. It shows the VAT that has been claimed. Again, if you suddenly realize that they're not VAT registered, you know to change this. Um, and it also has a, a little paper clip to prove that there is an attachment on, on the, um, the transaction, which is always helpful if you're sort of looking down the bank to make sure you've attached everything to them. If for any reason any of this was incorrect, you can just click on to uh, the, the transaction again and you can change anything that you want to. Um, and that's all there is to it. It now has pushed that expense into your into your books. It will take and claim back the, the VAT. It will claim back the tax and it does everything else for you. So it's really, really simple. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.